Hello, I'm Cole with Statesply, and today we're going to be talking about the operation of an inverted bucket trap, and we're going to be using this glass inverted bucket to show how it's supposed to be operating. So for operation for the inverted bucket trap, the condensate and steam mixture is going to be coming in through the bottom of the bucket, and there will be water surrounding this bucket. So if there's steam in here, the buoyancy will actually drive this bucket up and it will float up to the top. The seal we can see here, there's this part that the bucket's attached to, and when the bucket's pushed up against the top, this little ball will be pushed against the orifice, and that will create the seal. So when there's steam in here, this will be pushed up all the way to the top, and it will create a seal. It won't allow any steam to escape. And then once the steam inside condenses, the bucket will drop, and then the pressure will drive the condensate out of the trap. Here we have another look at the inverted bucket trap. So again, the steam comes in over here through the bottom and the water around the outside of the bucket will allow the bucket to float if there's steam inside because it's less buoyant. So it will go up and it will seal right there. So it will operate cyclically when steam and condensate are coming in. For an inverted steam trap to operate properly, you need what's known as a prime. The prime is water sitting inside of the body of the trap before it sees steam. Right now we have water right about here, but the top of the bucket's right about here, and we would actually want probably water towards the top of the bucket to create the prime we're looking for. If we don't have the prime, the bucket's gonna bounce everywhere, and that's gonna allow steam to escape when the bucket's down. So I'll demonstrate that right now. So right now, when the bucket is down like that and steam's going in, we're actually leaking a lot of steam. So I'm gonna shut the steam off here. And then I'm going to inject water. So I'm gonna try to bring the water level from about here to above the bucket. So I'm gonna have to shut the steam off here from the boiler, inject some water. That's a little bit of steam left over in the line coming out right there. So the water level should be increasing slowly in here. There we go, it's starting to rise. Okay, the bucket is completely submerged now in water, so it now has its prime that it needs. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the steam on from the boiler, and then I'll turn it on here. And now we will see the bucket rise to the top here once the steam gets to it. And then that will create the seal with the orifice. And now we have no steam leaking out. This is how the trap is supposed to operate with a light condensate load. Once we put a little bit of condensate load on it like this, the trap will begin to cycle. So it will begin to bounce up and down. And you can actually hear the trap doing this if the load is big enough um, with like an ultrasonic device, for instance but this is what you want to see and what you want your inverted bucket traps to be able to do. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, like and subscribe. We'll be posting more content soon.